Hello, welcome to the Squirrel Tale. Today I am going to discuss cleaning after shooting surplus ammunition. For some old military guns, you can easily find surplus ammunition. Sometimes they'll come in bandoliers like this or in clips. In this case, it's 8mm Mauser that I shot in this check Mauser. This ammo can oftentimes be cheaper, but it is not as clean as modern ammunition. So if you fire it without cleaning it, it will potentially damage your bore. So you got to clean it a lot more thoroughly, almost like black powder. So the first thing I always do, and I always do this at the range, is I want to start with this stuff called Ballastol. Now this is available in spray or in wipes. I use both. In this case, the wipes are kind of handy. It does stink, by the way. So to start the cleaning process out, I'll rip it in either two or three pieces. This is an eight millimeter, so I think I can get away with two. Take the bolt out. And push it through. Probably should have taken it off, but. I'm going to send the second one through. This, now, this is as far as I'm going to take it at the range, but this is going to neutralize some of those salts. Um, till, and I'll make it so it'll at least be good till I get back. So now that I got the rifle home, or not necessarily, it doesn't have to be home, it, a place where you can do a more thorough cleaning, I'm going to start by taking just a dry patch, scrubbing that ballastol. I find it makes the brush, the brush kind of dirty and ucky, so push out some of the ballastol. And then I'm going to unscrew my patch tip and put that back in the tube so it don't get lost. And I'm going to put on a, in this case, a 32 caliber cleaning brush, 30-30 caliber. Now this one, you can see, has been used a little bit, so I'll probably change it soon. And I'm kind of going to want to loosen any, scrub it down a little bit just to loosen any dirt and dry. And get it loosened up. After that, I'm going to then put on a sponge. And this is where it will really get the, the dirt and grime out. <coughs> So, what I'll do is I'll take a empty coffee can with about an inch of water. You don't want too much more than that. Um, and I'm going to put some dish soap, whatever your favorite dish soap is. Put a couple squirts of that. And get it so it's sunny. Maybe another drop. And 
and you get a little bit of soapy water. Now in this case, I don't have the nicest of wood, so I'm not too worried about getting soap on the wood. But if you have like a pristine looking stock or something that has a beautiful figure, you might want to take the action out, but this is just an old battle rifle. And I'm gonna put the sponge on the end of the rod. I'm first gonna stick the sponge in the water to get it wet. And expand a little bit. I'm going to pull it carefully back and forth. Just bring it so it lets go. And this will kind of create a vacuum effect. Getting all that. There are all the salts that are corrosive. I want to get them dissolved. I'll do this for a few minutes. Try to keep the rod straight so you're not scraping your right foot. After that, the next thing I want to do is to get all that water out of there. So, I will get the soap off this rag. Put the rifle back on the bench I'll take my sponge out and let her dry a little bit Get a dry patch going down that bore. Um. So yeah, you want to immediately get that bore clean. And then you also want to, if you can get the spring open, you want to get inside with towels, you want to dry out inside here. And pretty much anywhere the water got to, you don't want to do that. You want to get stuff cleaned, you know, and dried. Try to get your chamber. And also the gun itself, you want to get any water off the outside of the gun. Thoroughly make sure it's dry. The next thing I do is I take some sort of spray, gun cleaning solvent, whatever brand you like, rem oil, whatever, or rem poppies. Spray it down. This will displace water. 
And I'll pr spray some in the board. And then I will clean out the bo clean out the bore itself with a cleaning brush or with a cleaning patch. I'll send three or four these patches after I spray it through sometimes it's good to spin carefully spin the rod as you send it down that's why I will say I definitely prefer one piece rods over two piece because they're not coming undone when you do this. Now I'm not seeing much debris so the last thing I'm going to do is take your favorite gun oil, in this case I'm using some hoppies. And oil and you know, everything good, you know, oil the bolt, and if you need to, you might want to wipe the bolt down. You know, get that oil throughout the action, and then Take a patch. At this point, it's just like clean, cleaning any rifle. We, in theory, should have gotten all the salts out of it. And I'm going to scrub that out. Just for good measure, I'm going to pull another one through. Especially down where it was in the water. This you want to thoroughly oil this up well. And you know, anything that's metal needs a coat of oil. And then I'm going to put my bolt back in. And voila, I have a here. I, should be a clean gun. Now I will normally later on after I do that go and clean it. Like again, I'll run just some bore solvent and hoppies down through it just to be sure that it is genuinely clean. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more great content. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more great content, and check out our Instagram page at, at Squirrel Tail Show.